Good morning. It is Friday, the 26th of January. Big day today with new listings. Let's take a look at things. We're looking at Milwaukee and Waukesha County, single family and condos in Milwaukee and Waukesha County. Today, we got 51 brand new listings. 51. That is more than what we've seen on a daily basis all year. So it took 24 days to break the 50 listing mark. So let's take a look at these. A lot of them on the north side here. Got one at um, 887 on Holly Ann in Franklin. It's an interesting home. The Franklin market has really changed as far as values over the years. It used to be you couldn't find anything over 400 in Franklin and now it's creeping up. New listing Oak Creek for 690. Looks pretty interesting. Now, one thing that we're seeing here is new construction, right? One, two, three, three new construction right off the bat, four new construction. Number of homes in the uh, North Shore area come on the market. Get this one on Oakmont. This is a condo for 405, two bedrooms. About 2,000 square feet on the main there. Park at Fire Fields. Those are nice complexes. Might work for someone that I'm thinking of. Okay. Oh, Spruce. There you go. Greendale. A listing in Greendale. That's impressive because there's not very many homes for sale in Greendale the entire year. Got one on Willow Springs. That looks interesting. Uh, tri level, or excuse me, bi level. For 375, Conroy VV, Condo, Condo, Milldale, and Brookfield for 329. Autumn Woods, 298. Man, I remember when those were in the mid 100s and now they're 298. Goodness. All right, 284. 1517 on 94th Street. I grew up in that area, a little bit to the east. 294. Those houses used to sell for 89,000 bucks. Condo over on NASA. Two bedroom, three bedroom, excuse me, two baths. Sold one there last year. Nice little complex. I'm signing dead end street. NASA. Go Burleigh into NASA. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Delayed listings. Seven delayed listings. Where are they located? Big Ben Road, hmm. an acre for 525. We'll see if they get that price. Let's watch that. Cambridge and Muskego, 430. Looks pretty interesting. Those are delayed listing, seven of them. All right, price changes are 17 today. And like normal, they're spattered throughout, but the majority of them are in that lower price range. It's really interesting how, even though it's a low price range, buyers are very sensitive to the price. Extensions, we've got 11 of them today, all throughout the area. That one on Holly Ann, that was relisted. Okay, nothing too intriguing. Nine pending, meaning they have an offer. They met their contingencies. Now they're going to go to a close, and this is in Milwaukee and Waukesha County. Okay. This one. We'll need to talk to someone about this one in reference to their price. 18 homes got offers in the last 24 hours. And again, spattering all over. No specific pro pocket of what market's moving. It's a spattering. And that's partly due to 
our inventory being low, but those 51 new listings today will help. 21 sold. Most expensive, 435 on Wellington near Heartland. The cheapest one, 47,000 on 26th and uh, Capital. I sold a place in this complex, $17,000 one time, and now they're at 70. That's crazy. All right, last one we're gonna look at is expireds. There's 11 of them. Anything of interest for people that we work with? Let's see. That one's interesting. Fenway. Surprised this one expired. It's a nice area, nice location. Okay. Nothing really that piques the interest. Well, thanks for joining me this morning. It is now 5.45. On to the next part of our day. If you have any questions about what you saw, give me a call. Reach out, text me, let me know. Thanks.